Hey friends, super pumped to have you back. We're back in Meredith's room. This time we're tackling a twin headboard. We've already got a platform a bed made for her room, but now we gotta add the headboard. We're gonna be using the original Super Glue Total Tech All-in-One Heavy Duty Adhesive plus sealant, and I wanna thank them for sponsoring this video. Okay, so step one, I had everything uh, sketched out how I wanted the headboard to go as far as the overall height and the width. So let's get this three quarter ply cut to size. For all you makers and DIYers out there like myself who don't own a track saw, I learned that a piece of MDF trim is a perfect guy for the circular saw. Uh, this piece of MDF was perfectly flat and I keep it on hand when I'm breaking down plywood. Make sure to invest and maintain a sharp blade on your circular saw as based on this cut it's time to change my blade so before I make the final cut on the plywood I went ahead and took some 1x4 pine on the table saw and cut out the uh, strips for the actual design on the headboard after cutting the uh, strips for the actual design I placed the plywood on the table saw and did the final cuts to get the measurement right on Okay, we already have the two posts for the headboard pre-cut. So now it's time to add some pocket hose to the plywood. And now let's start building the headboard. Now for this part of the glue up, I went with the clear um, I love these 4.2 ounce tubes of the Total Tech. I thought this was the perfect size to just making sure I'm getting the glue where I need it on the post. Since I'm staining and not painting, I didn't want to have any issues there. Just make sure I get everything lined up and then start installing the pocket screws. Okay, so I just repeated the same steps on the other side, but this 4.2 ounce tube of this Total Tech is so convenient, especially on smaller projects. So definitely consider picking up some tubes. Okay, so now we have a completed headboard as far as the overall frame. So now let's actually create the design. Again, I'm going with the Total Tech in the clear to put the upper and lower piece in before we start putting the vertical slats. Fits like a glove. Now remember, after I get done laying each board, I'm going to rub the palm of my hand across the entire board to make sure I'm spreading the total tech out evenly. Now this particular clear in the tube will dry in two hours. Okay, we move on to the vertical slat pieces. I've got some two by four chunks and I'm gonna use as my spacers and I'm just double checking to make sure everything is gonna fit perfectly before we start applying the adhesive. Okay, so now it's time to adhere the vertical slats of the headboard. And as you may notice, I cut 30 degree angles on both ends of the vertical slats. So for this, we're gonna move away from the 4.2 ounce uh, clear tube. We're gonna go back to the caulking gun with the white Total Tech All-in-One. So let's hit on some of the amazing features of the All-in-One Total Tech from the original Super Glue in the caulking gun tubes. It's gonna dry in one hour. Um, 
It works on pretty much all surfaces, concrete, brick, metals, marble, tile, PVC, drywall, foam board, wood, plastics, mirrors, laminate, and more. Every project that I've used Total Tech on has worked amazing and everything has held up amazing as well. Now you will notice that I'm using some pin nails. Um, since I'm using stop blocks after each vertical piece, I didn't want any risk of a piece moving. So I'm running some small 18 gauge pins just to make sure everything stays in place. And in Meredith's barn door project, there was zero nails in holding that design together. But since I'm having to use stop blocks and use the previous piece to line up the next piece, I just have to make sure nothing moves. Okay, some key notes to remember, it will dry in one hour, but it takes 12 hours to cure. So after I finished all the vertical slats, I allowed it to dry for 12 hours before performing any sanding. So there you have it my friends, all the vertical slats are installed, I allowed it to dry overnight. I came out in the morning and did a complete sand on the entire um, headboard to make sure it's going to be splinter free and ready for stain. I am just so pumped how it looks, it's going to look so good with the platform bed. So let's do a little magic here and snap our fingers and go from sanded to stained. We use Midwax Early American for the stain of choice. Well, there you go, my friends. We have a twin bed with a custom headboard completed. Meredith is so, so excited to have this bed in her room. She has fully enjoyed getting to use her bed, and that makes me super, super happy. I want to thank the original Super Glue for sponsoring this video. The Total Tech All-in-One Heavy Duty Adhesive Plus Sealant is such an amazing product with so many amazing uses, and it's so, so easy to use. So friends, I would love to know in the comments what you think. If you like this video, hit that like. Hit subscribe if you love the content. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great day and of course, stay classy.